financing or harvest aggregation. And then, uh, Chema, thank you very much for murdering my name. I'm sorry about <laughs> that. Intro, that's <laughs> fine. Apologies accepted. My name is Adetia Enebombasi, and I oversee partnerships in Zoacell. I'll be your anchor today, so we will kick start immediately. Once more, thank you for joining us. I believe you will have an interesting time and a very informative time with us today. So we can proceed to the next slide, please. OK. I will talk about Zoacell a minute, and I'll take time to explain the times you've just seen below. Zoacell is a, it's where futuristic agricultural technology companies, and we offer various solutions um, to smallholder farmers. We provide inputs. We, provide farmers rep cooperatives and um, crop buyers crop sellers financial institutions all they will sell ourselves what we do is that we leverage on technology and data science to improve um, the farmers productivity and um, sustainability and profitability i mean those are the basic things we offer and solutions we offer include um, precision agri sustainable agri and um, traceability, marketplace alternative finance. Um, this might sound a little bit tough for our non agri um, audience. So I'll just, in a summary, in a bit, explain to our non agri audience um, what this means in simple language. Precision agri, this is, it's, it's, um, otherwise known as um, satellite agriculture or cell-specific crop management as a CM. And this is a simple process or science of using high technology, sensors and analysis tools to improve crop yields and assist in making decisions. So technology plays a key role in terms of precision agri. Example of technology we use is on the GPS, mapping system, sensors, remote uh, sensing technologies, satellite imageries at the farm locations. And, um, we also use variable rates application equipments, automated vehicle and um, drones in terms of precision agri. And that's what we simply mean by precision agri in simple language. Sustainability is just um, a way of farming that enables farmers to meet society's present food um, needs and um, without having to compromise um, future needs and um, current needs in terms of um, what you're producing. You're able to satisfy the human needs, you're able to enhance the environmental quality and the natural resource base. That's the area which agricultural depends on through your activities and it also make use of um renewable energy resources non-renewable energy resources sorry mostly non-natural biological cycles and controls you're able to sustain the economy and enhance quality of life of farmers and society and um, that's what we mean by sustainability in agriculture traceability is um just a tool for meeting the needs of our clients, assuring them that the growers that grow the, that cultivate the crops is in meeting the required standards. It's a system which farm yields and fruits can be traced from the fields to the bar by using unique codes. Those unique codes could be number, could be combination of number and um, designation. They're simply call lot codes is um, once you do that you're able to trace all the processes from the procurement of raw materials to production consumption and that's an added advantage what does it do in terms of being futuristic it um creates more efficient and um, environmental friendly and it's safe as we proceed, we will be talking about um, the marketplace is um, a marketplace where buyers and sellers meet. And uh, we will see that we have a marketplace 
all on a mobile platform. You can buy and sell on a mobile platform as well. But we have a marketplace where buyers and sellers meet. You can sell your products there, buy products there. And um, it's a one location. You can do all your farming transactions in the whole value chain 360 degrees. Lastly, we will be talking about the alternative finance, which provides finance for our farmers and um, our customers alike. I hope that explains the solutions provided in terms of precision agri, sustainable agri, traceability, and marketplace, especially to our non-farming non audience. Let's go to the next slides, please. All right, our marketplace is um, available on the on our mobile app, just like I earlier indicated. Why do we have the marketplace? Is to make activities um, more profitable, efficient, and environmental friendly. It creates that confidence. It creates that transparency and efficiency in our marketplace. We have um, access to different agro inputs and commodity listing, grains, cash crops, and more. And we're able to streamline commodity trading process. Why is that so? It saves time and money. And easy and convenient one-stop shop that connects our buyers to our sellers. So you can register on our platform. You can um, use your marketplace to register, use the platform to sell, use the platform to buy directly from our marketplace. You will see how it's done on mobile app. Once um, you you be you 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 follow the links on the mobile app to be able to register. And um, any issues you have, please feel free to send us a message, and we'll ensure you're properly registered on a marketplace. I mean, this is one of the convenience platforms we have provided. You can see um, the mobile app there where. The sellers are listing their crops and the pricing. You have ginger, you have um, other products that are listed on the mobile and their pricing. So that makes it a lot easier and transparent for everybody to um, appreciate and deal. And the buyers are able to see what they're buying and make payment within 24 hours to the sellers. Next slide, please. Okay, um, getting started in the marketplace, the first step is to register on our platform on um, zoacell.com. Once you register, the second step is um, we will schedule an onboarding conversation with you just to make sure we point you to the right direction and to be able to give you all the information you need to facilitate the registration and get you onboarded. We'll sign a contract with you and the terms of the contract are clearly spelled out in a document which you will also have access to as the person who is registering on our platform. Next step is you list your products that you're willing to sell and um, they're pricing as well. And you pick up an LP all from our site. It's automated. Make delivery. Once delivery is made, oh, you get your payments in 48 hours. And, um, we believe that this is the technology that drives the current market, make it more transparent, make it more efficient in terms of agri and in terms of futuristic agri, which Zoacell is known for. So we go to the next slide now. Okay, so that summarizes um, the futuristic agri and the things we do in terms of precision agri sustainability, in terms of traceability, also, um, we'll now go straight into access. Access simply means an alternative credit evaluation scoring system. I mean, this is um, a scoring platform a loan assessment tool. It bridges the gap between farmers facing organization, that is association, farmers association, and financial institutions. Why is this so? It's simply to unlock access to alternative financing across the agricultural value chain. Alternative financing in the sense that it fills, it provides that gap as against 
the modern financing by banks, we're able to evaluate you using our access platform and provide that alternative source of finance for you. The purpose is to strengthen the agricultural value chain to support the farming facing organizations, um, digitize smallholders, farmers footprints, and automate the entire value chain. Just to unlock access to alternative financing, just to improve your productivity, improve your yield, and improve your profitability as well. You will like to see and understand how you can get alternative finance as against going through the rigors and spending a lot of time with big banks who will spend so much time in giving you this same value we're giving to you, or you might not get it at all because of um, the the requirements, collaterals that you have to provide. Next slide, please. In terms of access, we are partnering with um, VBank and they have used our platform to be able to create that access to loans to our farmers. Currently, we secured them $100,000 from VBank and this is dedicated to our smallholder farmers. It's, a, it's for farmers credit financing. And um, within a little span of just two months, we also secured additional $400,000. What this is gonna be doing for us is to enhance our trade financing. I mean, this supplement funding is strategically aimed at customers engaging in transactions on a marketplace. So for you to access this, you actually need to register with us and engage in transactions and certain demands you need to meet, certain criteria you need to meet, which is simple as against the modern things you need to do. And um, the goal is to unlock trade finance and foster and increase transactions on the platform. So we're currently in partnership with um, VBank and um, VBank um, is kind enough to provide these resources for our farmers alike and our vendors alike. So register with us and um, you will have access to our finances through our platform called Access, which we use in scoring and evaluating you to be able to get the finances. We will speak a little bit more on Access as we, before we round up this meeting. Next slide, please. So, Talking about access again and um, working capital for your post harvest. The minute you harvest, you need to um, prepare your crop for the post harvest. You need working capital to be able to do that. And um, today, farmers and farmer facing organizations and associations and merchants, um, they are faced with numerous challenges. I mean, significantly affecting their operations and is hindering successful delivery to cooperatives in need of the commodities. So the primary obstacle they're facing, it's working capital. And this compels them to seek loan from banks. But well, the question is, can you get those loans timely? And will you meet the collateral required for those loans? Access is kind enough to use our access platform to facilitate those loans to our farmers. And then the process is um, securing these loans is often long and tedious with the banks, resulting in delayed access to the much needed funds. And the delay hinders the ability to fulfill timely deliveries to cooperatives, relying on commodity supply, which also affects the operating efficiency. So you need a bank, you need, you need a platform, the access platform to access this loan seamlessly and timely to be able to have your post harvest activities and to be able to make profits, to be able to do things timely that has to do with the 360 agricultural chain. Next slide. We will proceed to the next slide. Now, in securing the loans, how to secure the working capital? You may ask the question, how do you secure the working capital? Currently, this is only 
for existing merchants on the marketplace within two sessions and then who have fulfilled the LPOs that are qualified to apply for the loans. The loans are based on merchant's transaction performance, market insight, crop value, and the potential buyers from lead loan recommendations. What this simply means is that you're taking through some criteria, processes, to enable you secure the loans. And um, some of the requirements you will need to provide will be a 12 month bank statement. This is required in line with the CBN um, requirements. And um, the directors and personal corporate guarantee letters will be required as well from the borrowers. Um, full KYC for both directors and company profile will be required. And um, if you have questions, further questions on how you can access these loans, we're happy to um, answer all of them. The harvest loan are currently only available to cash crop value chains. The duration is three to six months. And that's within the harvest and trading sessions. Question you may want to ask, which I know will be on your mind, will be what is the rate? It's, it's just one digit, which is 5% monthly. And um, our platforms, in terms of um, the forms, they can be accessed on our platform. And the link is right there. And um, you can have access to this by registering with us and visiting our platform just to take a look at the loan form to be able to assess your working capital. We just try to make it as simple and seamless as we can and um, timely as well for you to meet all your coming needs. Next slide, please. Other loan products we have in terms of um, Zoacell at the moment, access, we, we also offer other loan options to smallholder farmers and farmers cooperative. This also include um, Farm input loans, if you need inputs for your farm, we offer loans for you to do that. Mechanization service loans or a bundle service. I mean, we provide such loans for you to meet these needs. We calculate the farmers, the platform, which is our access platform, calculate your working capital to determine your repayment capacity. And we also recommend the loan limits. And this is through the computerization and cultivation loans requirements, such as farm size. We look at your farm size. We look at the potential crop yield that um, we're expecting and um, projected harvests. We look at the crop type and we also advise you with the market forecast. We advise you historic sales data. We take a look at that as well. The agricultural activities you're performing, we'll also take a look at that in terms of providing these um, types of loan. The system itself then assigns credit scores and um, grades to you, the potential borrower, and it's um, utilizing the weighted attribute calculation for from all data. So from all the data we take from you, to be able to do this, we look at the weighted average. And you're if, if you're able to fall within the range of A, B, and C, you're qualified. And then um, you get the loan. Either you get the single loan or you get a bond loan through the Zoracell marketplace. This is what the marketplace is all about. So make it seamless for you to buy, to sell, and to interact with buyers and sellers alike, and to have access to finance to enable you to facilitate your farming activities. I mean, the loan equivalent is provided by all what we have listed above, depending on the need request of the farmer. So if you need farming inputs, if you need mechanization, service loans, and if you need bundle services, we take you through the scoring parameters we have just indicated. And then we're able to provide the score if you fall within that limit, you're qualified for the loan. So don't wait longer. Just go ahead, get the form, apply for the loan, and we are done. Next slide, please. How it works and um, how to apply for the loans. 
So you interface with, okay. Once you get all the forms filled and um, the interface with us, we score you. That's what that slide is all about. It's just a repetition of the former slide we showed. Um, we score you. And then once you meet the criteria that we have scored you on, you're able to have access to the loan. We This slide just shows some of our uh, smallholder farmers that have received alternative loans. We just uh, let we just need to um, showcase them. They are happy with the alternative loan and um, the alternative financing facilitated access to essential agri inputs and um, what did this result to? Improve yields and overall productivity and then profitability as well. I mean, you can see the inputs there they have and um, those that want mechanization will also provide them the load for the mechanization. You can see more on our website. So I implore you to visit our website where you can see all these activities and a lot of showcase, a lot of um, uh, smallholder farmers on our platform too. So you can look at the review and um, get started. We want to see you on board and that's why we're talking to you today as well. Next slide, please. So at this point, I'll be happy to take further questions, any questions from you and my, uh, my team my experts around who will be able to answer your questions. And um, if you have put any question across to us, we will also make sure we answer those questions. So if you have any questions at this time, or if you want further explanations, please feel free at this time to go ahead and ask the questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Bassi. Thank you for this informative webinar session on alternative finance for harvest aggregation. Um, yes, during the webinar session, someone dropped um, a question. I'll just read out a question immediately. Um, his name is um, Baba Tunde Taiwo, and he said he's wondering if there is, if there will be a recording of this webinar. And uh, yes, Baba Tunde, there'll be a recording of this webinar. We are going to share that with you. And then he also went further to ask um, if Zoa sell, um, sell directly on the platform for buyers and sellers. That's his question. So I'll be leaving that for you, Mr. Bassi, to respond. Thanks, Choma. Yes, Zoa sell, sells online. And um, if you go to our, if you go to the few marketplaces we have, you will also sell directly. But with the mobile app, makes it very easy, makes it very transparent, and um, makes it very convenient. So we will advise, yes, please use our mobile app to make your requests. It's faster, it's convenient, and it's efficient, and it's transparent. So download our mobile app today and use it to buy and sell i hope that answers your question thank you okay thank you very much okay to add to it um zoa sell is also a commodity marketplace where we bring um, both buyers and sellers on the platform so yes on the platform you meet buyers who are also there to you know transact with you as a merchant and um, there you can pick up your purchase order there you'll be able to negotiate prices with um, the buyers. The buyers can also negotiate with you. So it's um, it's a platform where uh, we bring both the buyers and the sellers together. The buyers and the merchant, the cooperative, they are there to you know interact. They are there to transact. So we, um, Zoa Cell is an enabler. Let me put it that way. So thank you. But um, if you have any more questions, please just um, drop your questions or can just unmute yourself and our guest in the house would be glad to you know take those questions you can go ahead with your questions please mary ademos hand is up please mary go ahead mary ademo you raise your hand you want to ask your question please okay Okay, good morning. 
Good morning. My question is, there was a scenario that happened last week. I wanted to supply a product to Kogi State from Kwara State. So, and I've received the IPO, LPO, sorry. So, but there was an election on Saturday, which um, your agent was aware of. So now, getting to Tuesday, so I was, I already told the people that were in charge to get prepared to move. So when I saw the list that came out, the supply wasn't there again. So I contacted one of your agents and she said the buyer did not revert. And this has cost me a lot. Gathering materials, trying to supply, trying to meet the quantity and the quality is not a day's job. It took us about five days to source and bag and load.